When coastal storms erode a beach, they do so using large waves. As the waves come in, they crash down on the beach and they dig out the sand out of the beach. This sand is moved by the waves back at the seabed out to sea. And in this way, the beach becomes eroded. It gets lowered and it reduces its volume. The sand has moved offshore and we can see here a wide sandy beach. This extends out into the seabed and that's where the sand is stored after a storm. In the weeks and months after a storm, that sand that's sitting out in the bay or on the seabed is brought back on shore by small low energy waves like these. They move the sand onto the beach and they move it up the beach, building the beach back up in these months and weeks after the storm. Once the sand has come back on the beach and been built up by the waves, it can dry out and then be blown up into the back of the beach and up into the dunes. Once it begins to blow, it might meet some objects like seaweed. The seaweed slows the wind down and because the wind speed is slower, the sand gets deposited within that obstacle. This is one of the sand tra trapping obstacles that we can get on the beach. Here we also have a shell, some rubbish, rocks, an old sock, anything at all on the beach that traps the sand will help it build up and this is where we begin to see dunes forming. Vegetation is the best object on the upper beach to trap sand. Here it really reduces the wind speed and the dune builds up behind it. It can grow vig vigorously as the sand inputs into the upper part of the beach. And because there is very little water in a beach dune system, the water table is really low, it has to send roots down really far and deep to access that water. That, those root systems really bind the sand together. And we can see here how extensive these root systems are, acting as a network to hold that sand in place and solidify the dune, creating this vast big barrier against ocean waves and storm events. There are really two types of plants in the dunes. Here on the upper beach where the dunes begin to grow, the embryo dunes form. And plants like these have to be really tough to be able to survive in this environment. There's very little water. It can be very hot under the sun. It's very exposed. It's exposed to the, the high winds of coming up off the beach. So these plants have to be very tough. They stay low, they have deep roots, and they live in this very harsh environment. Up in the dunes, what they need to do is be able to grow quickly with deep roots. So they're slightly different in the dunes and we have more grasses and marrow grasses growing in the dunes that help bind the dunes together. However, both of these are very fragile. Because these plants on the upper part of the beach in the embryo dunes and in the dunes have evolved in such harsh environments, they create really unique environments that are highly valued. We, most of our beaches and dunes are special areas of conservation. Sand dunes, they protect us, let's protect them.